Hi guys, Mr. B here and today what we're going to be looking at in this video is different strategies that we can use to help us add and subtract mentally. So that means in our heads, okay? If you've got a pen and a piece of paper, we can do column addition, we can do column subtraction. They help us out, but sometimes we don't have that pen, we don't have that paper, so we have to work it out in our heads. Now we're going to have a look at a couple of strategies that will help you. Now as with most maths, anything that helps you is the right way okay what I mean by that is I'm gonna look at a couple of ways and the one that you'll probably use is the one that you find best for you lots of people work in different ways so don't think oh this is the way I need to do it do it your way if it gets you the right answer that's the right way to do it so firstly we're gonna look at a little way to do this by making the numbers small so I've got some here 27,000 plus 34,000 okay and that's quite big numbers so make it a bit harder to work out. What we can do is we can take our zeros off, okay? So I have taken off one, two, three zeros from each side, okay? So what I'm gonna do, 27 plus 34 rather than 27,000 plus 34,000. It's made our numbers smaller, okay? So in my head, because I know number bonds, my seven plus four is going to be 11. Okay, so that's one, and I know my one's coming over. And two plus three is five, but because I have 11, I've got another one. My answer is going to be 61. So now I've got my answer for 27 plus 34, and I've got my answer as 61. What I'm going to do is put my 61 here, but now I need to add my three zeros on that I've taken off. So now I've got that answer there without having to do 10 thousands addition okay now let's look at another way to do it now we're going to look at a way that's called number substitution so we're going to be substituting one of these numbers to make our sum easier okay so what we're going to do is this number 27,034 they're a bit hard to add but i know this is near 10,000 this is near because of my rounding and you can have a look at the rounding video if you know how to do that is near 30,000 27,000 is near 30,000 so I'm going to change that number for 30,000, okay? I'll keep the other number the same. So now I've got this sum, but I need to remember how many I added on to make this 30,000, okay? So I was on 27,000, and I'm on 28, 29, 30. I had to add 3,000 on to make that 30,000. Now I've got an easier sum, 30,000 plus 34,000. I know 3 plus 3 is 6, so I know my answer is 64,000 to this sum. Because I added 3,000 on at the start, now I have my answer. I've got to take 3,000 off to make my sum right. So 64,000, take away 3,000. I know 4, take away 3 is 1. So we get our same answer, 61,000. Now the last way that we're going to look at how to do this sum it's basically the same way, but we're going to change the other number, okay? So, we're going to keep the 27,000 the same, okay? And this time, I'm going to have to take some numbers off, because that's still nearer 30,000, the same as our other number was. Oh, another zero, okay? But this time, I've took 4,000 off, okay? So again, I can do this sum, easy in my head. 27,000 plus 30,000, I know 2 plus 3, because they're both in the 10,000s column, I can easily do that, is 5. So my answer is 57,000. Okay? Now remember, I took my 4,000 off. So now I need to add my 4,000 back on. Okay? So now if I add it on, I can just count. 57,000, 58,000, 59, 60,000, 61,000 we have our same answer. So you can see there that all three ways found the same answer. Now the one that's right, as I said at the start, is the one that you find easier, okay? With that one, changing the numbers, it was quite even which one to change. Sometimes it'll really stick out which number's easier to change. One where this one might be uh, 25, so you have to go up five or down five. One might be um, 31, so you only have to go up one or you go down one. So it's a lot easier, okay? So that's three ways that you can do sums and make them easier. Now we're going to have a look at a couple of ways using the same techniques, but doing it with a takeaway. Okay, so now I've got uh, 33,000, take away 28,000. And I'm going to do it 
in the three different ways I've looked at, but I'm going to do it for the takeaway now, okay? So, first way, we can take our zeros off because we've got the same amount of zeros. 33 take away 28, okay? So we can work that out and we will get that our answer is, I'm going to work this way, okay? Just going to find that one easy this time. 3 take away 2 is 1, so I've got 13 take away 8 now. 13 take away 8 is 5, okay? So I'll put my answer as 5 and then add my three zeros back on, okay? So we've got the answer there of 5,000. Other way we could do it, I'm going to change this one to 30,000 again. Keep that one as 28,000, okay? And now we've got 30,000 take away 28,000. Now that'll equal 2,000. But as before, I've took 3,000 off. But because I've taken 3,000 off, this time it means I've taken away from a smaller number. So I need to put my 3,000 back on. So 2,000 plus our 3,000 would get us the same number of 5,000. 2 plus 3 is 5. As you can see on that one, it's a little bit different, okay? So when we took off the 3,000, before, normally we'd take it away from there, we plussed it on because we were doing a takeaway. So now, same again, keep this as 33,000. And we're going to take away this time, move this up to 30,000. Okay. And as you can see there, I've had to add on 2,000 to that. So I don't have added 2,000 on. Do that sum, it's easy. We get 3,000 as our answer. We added 2,000 on to here, which means from our answer, we have to add that on as well. 3,000 plus our 2,000 equals 5,000. Okay? So that's ways that you can make taking away an addition in your head a little bit easier. Okay? If you like this video and it's helped you, give it a like. If you know someone that will help, share it, of course. And any questions, put them down in the comments, put them on the Facebook or Twitter, and I'll try and get back to you. Okay, thanks a lot for next time. See you later.